Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, Patriot Under Fire here. So I'm just going to do a short little video about a magazine's stupidity in the internet. Some of that stupidity is my own. I got into ARs. Um, I, I shot the normal uh, metal magazines um, and Magpul just come out. Um, actually, Magpul have been out for a while as far as their own P mags go. Um, and that's what I started to use religiously. I think I had three or four metal ones that came in, but when I bought magazines, I would always buy Magpul. I like uh, one sound compared to the other. I'm a big fan of them. Now, I bought a 300 Blackout last year. Uh, that was my first 300 Blackout rifle. And what I ended up doing is realizing that P mags, specifically regular P mags, weren't the best for 300 Blackout. Now, I was only shooting supersonics at the time. I wasn't shooting subs. Um, but even my supersonics, once you hit past 10 or 15 rounds because of the head and the shape of the round um, and the head of that big 30 caliber bullet, um, started to uh, just, you know, we'd have feeding issues in magazines or they'd bind up or they'd, they just looked ugly. It was horrible. So I did what everybody did at the time probably and jumped on the internet and tried to find some solutions on how to make my PMAGs work with 300 Blackout. What ended up happening is, is I found a few videos. This was before YouTube rolled out their um, next set of rules and regulations. But what I ended up finding was, is um, people are out there modifying their magazines and kind of chipping away at the insides right at the beginning of that follower. Now, this is where the uh, idiocracy or stupidity comes in, especially on my part. Don't do it. Don't modify your magazines, period. It's one thing to change a part out on it. But it's, it's something entirely different to take a grinder, whatever, to modify your magazines to try to make them work with something else. Uh, and I'll get to the reason why in a minute. But I, I did five magazines. I, I ruined all five of them. None of them feed reliably now. 5.56 five, or 300 Blackout. You know, I was so stoked in it that I painted them out and got them all ready to go. Um, but you just push down a little bit and she's all jammed up. And I have to work to get it to come back up. So what I ended up doing from there, and this was before Magpul came out with their 300 Black magazines. So what I ended up doing was I ended up kind of discovering, um, and I'm always late to the party, Lancer mags. And with Lancer magazines, I have several. I have gray ones, I have clear ones, and I have uh, this one lowly flat dark earth one. Uh, Lancer magazines kind of fix some of the issues that I brought up here. They're extremely stackable, I think. They have, they still have the reliability, I think, of a good follower, an anti-tilt follower from like a Magpul. They have reinforced steel feed lips. Um, and my Supersonic, I was able to fit 30 rounds of 300 Blackout Supersonic uh, in a Lancer mag and did not have any issues. Hence, I bought the clear one for that reason. I really wanted to see what was going on all the way down to the bottom. This has worked pretty well for me. I've only shot supers out of mine. Have no real need to shoot a subsonic round out of 300 blackout until I get my suppressor. And that is still a ways away. In the meantime, I needed something that I could pack 30 rounds in. I built a 300 blackout pistol and I'll do a review on that later. Uh, but did a 300 blackout pistol and I wanted something that I might consider throwing in a backpack, keeping it a truck gun. I wanted something heavier to then a nine millimeter sub gun. Uh, and I wanted something obviously heavier than just a pistol to get me home. And I wanted to be able to throw it all in a backpack. That's what I've been using lately, especially for 300 blackout. And they've worked pretty good for supersonics. What I just got a hold of Magpul 300 Blackout uh, magazines, and I bought five of them, one for a gun and four for a rig. And I'll try to hold that up here on 300 Blackout. You can see all these three still have the, the lines here in the middle where 300 Blackout does not. Of course, they have their uh, little marking spots down here, and they actually say 300 Black down at the very bottom there. This is one texture from the top to the bottom. 300 blackout mags um, are the same P mag texture up to the middle part here, and then it's very, very smooth. Same plastic, just very, very smooth from there. And the other thing Gen M3s have uh, that I really, really like is an over insertion stop. At the bottom of the magazine, Gen M2s do not, uh, but the Gen M3s do. I have a few Gen M3 556 mags 
now as well, um, and I like them. I think that they are. I really like. I really like Magpul P Mags. I'm just. A, I'm a fanboy. I hate to. I hate to say it like that, but I. I absolutely am. Don't be stupid and modify your magazines like me. Now I have five of these that I'm going to pull the spring and the faller out of and the floor plates off of and throw the magazine shells away because I ruined them. Don't be an idiot. Don't be like me. Don't modify your magazines. Thank you for watching. Until next time.